In a rare interview over the weekend, Elon Musk revealed a couple of new details, uh, including the starting price uh, for the Tesla pickup truck, uh, one of the hottest topics lately. So I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. And of course, thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting this independent channel, including one of my newer ones, Eric Tell. Welcome to the community. All right, so we've seen this picture for a while now. It was unveiled, I guess, at the Model Y unveiling event, um, except for they kind of just like quickly flashed it on the monitors after the event while well, none of us were, were looking and then nobody really really saw it so Elon had to tweet it out um, a day after and everybody was like oh okay what are we looking at here so and there are tons and tons of people who've done the rendering of this and people were thinking like what is this is the front or is it the back um, now we do have an answer to that as well just like we do have an answer what the starting price is going to be but um the reason we know about that is that elon uh, actually gave an interview to ryan mccaffrey um consider him a friend of the show he's been on this channel a couple of times uh, he has a, a podcast called uh, ride the lightning and he's been doing it for over four years now. Uh, it's uh, his 200th uh, uh, episode anniversary. So an amazing way to celebrate it. It's about an hour interview with Elon. And here's a picture of uh, him and Elon uh, probably before or after this. And they did it at the uh, Tesla headquarters in Palo Alto, California. So they did it on Wednesday. It was released um, over the weekend on Sunday morning. And they've discussed a few topics, but I think the biggest takeaway uh, here was the, the information of pickup truck. And, you know, by the way, I, I like Ryan a lot for reasons because he is a, a Tesla fan. But he's not a Tesla fanboy, right? Like he, like if you've seen my interviews with him, he wasn't shying away to some with some criticism about Tesla and so forth. Now this interview, much like a lot of interviews that I see with Elon, I, you know, I. I don't, you know, and I haven't asked him yet, but like, I don't feel like that he got all the questions he probably really wanted because, you know, Tesla communication team is just brutal. And so I'm assuming there were limitations. And again, I, I know Brian, I know Ryan is going to reveal some of the behind the scenes stuff, but I don't know if he's going to reveal that. I, this is just my assumption because a lot of the questions were about the design and reminiscing about the stuff, you know, uh, none of them were about the stuff that we kind of want to know about right now or, or controversial stuff. And, and Ryan is not a controversial guy, but still, I kind of felt like there were a couple of things he probably would have wanted ad addressed. Uh, but don't want to speak for him. Um, I still enjoyed the interview. It was over an hour long. So you guys check it out at his uh, podcast, The Core Ride the Lining. But so um, let's talk about the details that he revealed about the uh, semi truck. Uh, before that, let me quickly remind you that this video and uh, this channel is sponsored by Byton. Uh, check out the Byton M by the, the all electric SUV coming to the US and Europe at the end of next year. Um, join myself and 50,000 other people, and the list is growing. Uh, of reservation holders and it takes about 60 seconds to reserve yours and uh, most importantly zero dollars down so go to the description of this video use the link to reserve your Python today okay so um uh, the truck the pickup truck so it's um by the way Ryan did ask him like what the hell we're we looking for at here is it the front or is it the back and Elon said this is the front now to me, I always thought this was a front because, you know, the logo usually goes on the front or on the back, right? Now, if this was the back, then there would be tail lights, which by law have to be red, I believe, in all countries in the world. So because this is the either front or the back and it's not the back, then it's a front. Now, Elon did say uh, in many different ways, and I think you've already you know, kind of uh, uh, gave references of Blade Runner and many others where it's going to be extremely futuristic. But I really only now I feel like when I listen to his answers to Ryan, uh, realize how futuristic it's going to be. He literally said that if you like pickup trucks, you know, the way they look right now, this is not going to be for you. Uh, and But he said because none of us liked how what pickup trucks looks like and i don't think anybody really is that crazy about pickup truck design i mean they're utility vehicles but kind of became um you know uh, uh something that people just gonna drive every day so i guess they're just kind of uh, uh, making a step back and saying okay well you know we want to create a truck that's like pickup truck that's a really 
awesome and 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 pleasant to look at and futuristic. He basically said that this is what the pickup trucks they envision going to be like in 20 or 30 years. And he kind of also compared it to saying like, well, you know, if uh, whenever people were switching from the horse and carriage to to an automobile, you know, yeah, automobile wasn't like for everybody, but everybody ended up driving an automobile. So they're they're trying to create something that's not for everybody right now, but is going to be in the future. Now, I don't know if this is the best approach to take. Obviously, you know, if they are going to uh, create a pickup truck, they are um, they will need to compete um, and you know and and convince people that they should buy them and you know that's a it's an uphill battle because don't forget you know ford and chevy and many others are just not going to just give up their uh market share of the most important models that they have the their profits and so forth and 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 i think you know making something that pickup drivers are not going to like may limit them uh, in terms of how many of them they can sell right there will be only so many enthusiasts and forward-thinking people but when you have to sell it to the masses you kind of have to make sure it looks good for everybody you know much like model s and model x and model uh, 3 and y i feel like those are just beautiful cars for at least most people right they don't look something like wait what is that um so i i don't know i really hope they kind of rethink it because i can see tesla making a beautiful truck without having to go 30 years sort of in the future now he also uh, revealed the price he basically said this truck is going to start at forty nine thousand dollars um you know <laughs> tesla and pricing you know the, especially lately you know whenever they say what whatever car is going to cost and tesla lineup today could be something different tomorrow right so when he's making reference that something's probably going to be on the market and you know in 2022 most likely Definitely going to be taking, I mean, you know, they've already announced the price for Model Y and already changed it, remember? So, okay. But it's a it's a target price. And, you know, if anything, we, we can now compare it to what Rivian um, has for the target price for theirs. And it says, you know, $69,000. Now, Rivian range is going to range between 230 miles and I think 430 miles or so. And uh, Elon is also promising a similar top range between four and 500 miles. So these are definitely going to be competitors. I mean, granted Rivian is positioning themselves as sort of a luxury adventure vehicle where I don't even know what uh, Tesla is positioning themselves with this truck of the future. Uh, but nevertheless, it's definitely a much cheaper vehicle, but that would be the starting price. And we don't know what the incentives are gonna be like, you know, at that point, will, will Tesla have uh, some newer, you know, incentives that are going to be um, uh, maybe reinstated in the future. Or maybe no one's going to have anything. So we don't know that. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely a price gap that that uh, Rivian will have to address. But at the same time, they don't have to right now because we don't really know what it is that Tesla is going to be producing and what are you going to be getting at the 49000 uh, uh, point price tag. So nevertheless... This is some really good news and, uh, I mean, interesting news for sure. And it does look like uh, this is the project that's moving forward. And he was kind of happy to talk about it, right, to kind of break some news. But like I said, out of the whole hour, uh, I would say this was the most important uh, piece of information. So, yeah, let me know what you think. $49,000 starting price for a pickup truck. I'm assuming it's going to compete with F-150. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you're not on our VIP list, I don't know, guys. What else I'm going to do? Come home, come to your house and personally wash your car. I mean, it's already free. It's already, uh, uh, you know, there's a bonus story every week that we send uh, send to you. Uh, we're featuring deal of the month. So you're literally making money here. Um, $50 off on the, one of the most uh, sold items in the Evanex store. So e 4 electriccom slash VIP, type it in really quick, put your address in, and boom, you are on the list. All right, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.